Hey guys, Cichlid Mania back here again. It's been a week since I shot a video. Uh, I got back in town yesterday and uh, I'm real super stoked to what I'm seeing in the herb garden and uh, basically my baby tank. Um, everything's doing good. Everything did really good while I was gone. Uh, went ahead and had to add an air stone in there. I was noticing that my fish weren't moving around very much in there. Once I added that in there, they started swimming around. But um, <clears throat> herb garden's doing really good. Um, here's those pepper plants. And I think this is week two now. Look at how big that guy, that leaf is right there. Uh, there's the red romaine lettuce. Doing all right. Um, there's the chives right there. And I'm pretty sure this is the cilantro, but I'm not sure if it's the basil or not. And uh, here, check this out. I don't know if you guys remember in the video, but now they're starting to pass the can. And basically, I think when I first started this video, everything was about right there. Comparisons to that and there. So everything's doing really good. Uh, one thing that I have noticed, I don't know if you guys can tell, but in this video, these leaves are starting to get a little bit of a yellowish tint to them. Obviously, it's not a good a good sign. So, um, what I think it is. Oh, wow, that's all new growth. Um, what I think it is, and even the lettuce. I don't know if you guys can tell on this camera or not, but uh, they're getting a yellowish tint. Peppers are doing good. I ain't getting any yellow tint on those. The chives aren't getting yellow. Cilantro is not getting yellow or basil, whatever that is. So what I think it is, is I think this needs a bell siphon. It could be uh, basically the water sitting in here, basically kind of getting flushed out, even though there's continuous water coming in. I think that maybe it, the roots need more oxygen. So with that said, uh, I went ahead and purchased the parts to build a bell siphon. Um, basically, this piece right here is uh, goes down in the center around my standpipe. And what I'll do is uh, I'll drill drill a series of holes all around this. And this just keeps the gravel away from my standpipe. So basically, I'll have an area in here, around here, that this pipe protects this pipe. I'll clear out all this gravel, and uh, basically, this is inch and a half, which I'm pretty sure is the right size. I, I know I have a slip fitting under there, so I might have to go to the store and order some two inch, but um, I'm hoping the inch and a half works. And uh, I purchased a cap, just a uh, PVC cap that uh, basically covers it. And what you do is I'll show you guys this after I build it. But uh, I'll have a pipe on the end of this, set it over here, and what it'll do is it'll fill, drain, fill, drain, fill, drain. And uh, I'll explain how that works once I get one built. Um, I have a regular cap, and then I also built one with a uh, air tube off the side of it. And I'll explain um, how this one works too. Um, I just got both. I know they'll both work. Uh, both ways, but uh, we'll see which one works better for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that's the problem. I don't think it's the light. I know the light's the right spectrum. I just, I don't know. It's either that or they're not getting enough nutrients. So uh, I know uh, basically, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but that hornwort is just taken off. And I know that's sucking up quite a bit of the uh, Nutrients. I've got a. I got quite a bit of algae that started growing in a week. Um, I mean, I haven't cleaned the glass in here at all. And it's just a little bit of a film buildup, but uh, I'm starting to get algae growth. So I know my nitrates are. They're kind of up there. I'm gonna go ahead and test those nitrates, see what they are. But uh, I'm thinking it's just the lack of oxygen to the roots. There's no aeration in there because uh, basically it's just rock. I do have air going in right here. I have air from this making air right there. I got an air stone in there. Um, 
and that's pretty much my only oxygen. I got some oxygen going on right here, and then also uh, the part that uh, drains the tub too. So uh, I'm gonna shoot this video real quick, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and fab this piece up, start testing that uh, thing out, and then once I get that thing operating well, I'll uh, go ahead and post that other video today. And uh, if all goes well, the video will be on YouTube tonight. So uh, I'll go ahead and post this one. And uh, oh yeah, one other thing. Um, babies are getting really big. They're starting to swim around. Ain't too scared. And uh, basically in here, I don't know if the little guy is still in there. Uh, nope, he's not in there. Oh well. Well, I did have some babies in there, but they must have swam out. Sweet. Um, well, I guess that concludes my video. That's all I got right now, guys. Um, so, I just hope that uh, basically that bell siphon fixes the problems with the leaves. Uh, I guess I'll probably know within a few days if uh, that was the problem. If that's not the problem, maybe somebody out there knows what the problem is, but I didn't experience this last time. This is the first time that I've ever seeded plants in, in water, so uh, usually what I'll do is I'll grow the plants in soil and then uh, transfor transport them over to the water. So uh, I'm just hoping that uh, basically that's all it needs is oxygen. So uh, we'll try that. Um, just uh, one quick thing, the spectrum on the bulb is 27K. I'm leaving it on for about 15, 16 hours a day. I've been having issues with this timer, but uh, I have to figure out what's wrong with it before I take off out of town again. But uh, everything's looking good. I think I got a couple more pregnant fish in here right now that I gotta uh, go through and see what I can get. Peacock's all the way fully colored out now. He turned out real pretty. Speaking of that, I did have another peacock over here. I haven't seen him in a couple of, oh, okay, he's still alive. But uh, yeah, so that's all I got right now, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and post this real quick and then I'll start getting building on that uh, bell safe in there. See you guys.